So if you want to change your resolution, you go up to this button here, go into properties under game settings, and you can change the resolution width and height. I'm going to change mine to 1280 by 720. And now you can see the black box of this has been made bigger. So to accommodate this, I'm going to drag the collisions out to fit the size. So now I'm going to make the camera follow the player by using the lerp thing we did in the previous GDevelop Quickie. Awesome. So now we're going to add camera boundaries. So this is easiest if you use the camera follow an object within a limit, but we're using lerps. And so we're going to do it a different way. So to make this tutorial quick, I'm just going to do it in the top left corner. And so I want to make sure that our camera is stopping just before it gets to the collisions. So I want to make sure that the center of this camera stops here. So if I had a really big room, let's say like this, then my camera would move around, but it would stop when it gets to this point. So I want to make sure I know the coordinates, the X and Y points of the center of the camera for here and here and here and here. But I'm only going to do it for the top left in this tutorial. And so I'm going to take half of the width, which is 640, and half of the height. And so in the events, I'm going to make a new event, and I'm going to move the Y position down to here. I'm going to add a condition, just search for position, and then compare X position of an object. This is going to be player. So if our player is less than or equal to half of the width of the screen size, so 640, then we're going to change the position of the camera to 640. So I'm going to copy and paste this and just do a greater than sign and delete this and then delete this from here. So if I play it, you can see, there we go. Our camera stops moving as it gets to that area. And so we can then just do the same to the top. And here we go. So this is now a really nice camera, which stops when you get to the corner of the screen. And so you can then just do the same thing for the other three corners. And it's that simple. So I hope this helped you and have fun.